Okay, class. So last time we talked about the nature of art that was during the first week of our lecture in our lecture. So the next thing that we're going to discuss today are the awareness, creativity, and communication in relation to your art. So basically, what is art and art awareness? So it says here art through its many media can act as a catalyst by drawing attention to the challenge the society most vulnerable face in ways that will connect with the audience by the artist on an emotional level. The place where beliefs and attitudes are formed and changed using the touch art can stimulate empathy. So basically, your awareness is being stimulated by your art. And what is awareness? What is that artistic awareness? Artistic awareness means the capacity of observing things around you. So high artistic people, high artistic aware people are those that are very sensitive about the things, the people, the, the structure of the society around you. And basically, he is into observing things around him deeply and accurately. And it is different from the perspective of other people. So it means that your awareness is, is necessarily connected or similar to the awareness of the artist of particular masterpiece. Your awareness on the subject of an artist may be different from the artist's perspective. Why? Because we have been discussing that everybody is unique. Everybody has his own perception. And this awareness is being shaped and being molded by the experiences that we have, the, the, the unique culture that we have, by the, the, our own traditions, our personal values. And this awareness is being developed as we try to look into uh, the, our external world. So basically, there are uh, different processes. There are learning processes on how to heighten our awareness, our artistic awareness. So uh, there are two, two ways in to which way you want to go. Do you want a high awareness or do you want a low awareness? Of course, everybody wants a high awareness because through high awareness, artistic awareness, then you have the mastery of things. And of course, the opposite side, when you get into the low uh, awareness, then you are limited. So it is uh, through with the way how we deal uh, with things in life. So when you try to, to heighten your artistic awareness, then you feel excited, there's clarity in what you do and the development of intuition. When you become excited, then you are happy in what you're doing, then probably you will push through and determine to accomplish what you might have started. And this goes with clarity, that means you, you know where you're going from the time you started uh, something, your, your subject, you know your objective, and you know how to strategize your objectives, your, uh, your activities so that you will reach your objective. And there's, because there's clarity in your path. And from here, you are at the same time developing your intuition, which way to go. So, you develop mastery in doing your thing. And this is because of your high artistic awareness. And it's the opposite side of having a low artistic awareness because there's limitation. So if you have high artistic awareness, then you have mastery of everything. But if you have low artistic awareness, then you are limited because you don't know what, where you're going and you keep on repeating what you're doing because you don't know the step. You don't master the step, the steps. And, and if you keep on repeating what you have started, then boredom develops. And then you don't have the 
the energy to push towards something and you can't finish anything. So that's uh, the reason why artistic awareness through your art appreciation is very important. So how do you develop your artistic awareness? There are four main factors on how to uh, build your artistic awareness. And we have here environment, of course, we have personal values. You have your traveling and your creation. Your environment, of course, um, develops your artistic awareness. Why? Because you, you see a lot of things around you. And this, this uh, propels your mind or stimulates your mind to give you different perspectives in life. So your environment, like uh, seeing other people, okay, seeing other 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 things, uh, experiencing other events, and this this all of these things taking all of these things together will make you a better person. So if you make a better reflection out of your environment, then you create that artistic awareness. And then the next one is personal values. So some quality time every day for yourself is a good a tool in trying to heighten your artistic awareness. So these are because you're, you're, if you're trying to make a quality time for yourself, then you create a healthy um, mental, mental activity. And that shapes your values. It is the foundation of your your state of mind it is your foundation as a person so you make if you make a better time for yourself a better quality time for yourself then you heighten your artistic awareness because because this will be shaping your mental health you'll be shaping your values your principles in life okay so this these are your foundational principles that could, could help you with how to live your life on a day-to-day -day basis and that makes you a stronger person so this personal values would help you build and create your artistic awareness the second one is the third one is traveling so when you make time to travel same thing you see a lot of different environment you see a lot of different cultures you see a lot of different people you experience a lot of different events and that stimulates your brain because your brain gives birth to your creativity it, it touches your heart probably touches your heart so your heart also exudes the same thing it creates another perspective it propels you to create imaginations and it make another world inside you which will later on be developed and uh, linked with the, the places uh, you go to as you travel. So that builds your artistic awareness and creation. Of course, your masterpieces, your art pieces are your creative expressions. This is the extension of yourself. This is expanding and extending yourself. So whatever your heart is, when you try to put your heart into something, then you create something and it manifests, concretely manifests how you think, how you feel, uh, what are you experiencing, your points of view, your views in life. These are the things that would, that would be manifested in your creation. And these are also manifestation of heightened artistic awareness. When you can convey your meaning uh, on a more concrete way, when you can uh, symbolize or manifest your meanings, the meanings inside your thoughts and the meanings inside your hearts, then you are trying to help build your high artistic awareness. And because of this, because of that heightened awareness, so what do we get from this high artistic awareness? Then first, your passion. It has something to do with your, your passion. As I have mentioned a while ago, your creativity is being manifested in your, your creativity skills are practiced when you do your passion. And the next one, it gives you a purpose. Okay, so 
out of your creativity, then you make something. And this something, this art piece would be linked to other people's point of view as they try to interpret it, then, then it gives them like another meaning and they form another perspective perspective out of that even though it's a little bit similar or a little bit far from what you uh, as an artist wanted to convey that therefore it goes beyond your artist's perception then your artist has uh has suffused its purpose so uh that's one one thing that we get from having high artistic awareness we serve our purpose we don't sometimes we don't even know our purpose we just create and then our concrete products would create something new or propel something new some energy into our viewers that would serve him or her uh, something okay it could possibly make her happy or it could possibly make her make her excited and forget some some stress in his life in, or in her life that that particular thing your creativity your high awareness about your creative expressions gives a purpose to your life and to other people's life and the third one of course when you do your hobby when you start doing your passion it gives inspiration so your high artistic awareness gives you serves as an inspiration for you to go on with what you're doing and go on with what you wish to accomplish and then of course, as you are inspired, you are more probed or propelled to create something. You are more inspired to do something and finish and accomplish something. So you begin creating. You create and you create not only for yourself, but for other people to you and get something out of your uh, concrete outputs. That's your art. So you will be, you are, you will be a creator out of your high artistic awareness. And then also this high artistic awareness brings out our own authentic idea. This is our idea coming from within. So it helps, it channels your, your personal ideas or, or authentic ideas to come out and be conveyed by the viewers and um, you are able you find ways and how to bring out and share all of these ideas that is a manifestation of high artistic awareness so because of this it is your passion it gives a purpose it inspires you it makes you create and it brings out your authentic ideas then you experience eureka so eureka gives you your high artistic awareness brings you to the state of your region, a very pleasant state of mind okay so from uh, that uh, art and awareness i now present to you the connection between art and creativity so there are a lot of things to to uh, to build connection between art and creativity and they are very much connected and associated together so you can't separate all these two things together because your artistic ability, skills, and talent to create work of art comes from your creative expressions. And these are manifest manifested from your drawings, your paintings, your sculpting, your poems, your, your compositions, your dance. So your creativity ability is the skill and talent to use your imagination to create and solve. A creative artist is probably a better artist, but you don't have to be an artist to be creative. Because as I have told earlier that everybody is unique, everybody has his own art, everybody has his own way of doing things, and it is uniquely you. So you can create out of what you have inside and be also propelled with what you have outside. So that makes a better art so your creativity in creating your art would be a um, would manifest a better uh, point of view of the artist okay 
also how does art help creativity? So art and creativity, as I have mentioned a while ago, are very much intertwined. So at this point in time, it says here that it asks here that how does art help creativity? So how does your art, your artistic expression, help you in, in attaining that creative skills? Your exposure to an experience with the arts, the exposure of a child to, to arts, uh, make the child create, design, generate, and compose new ideas, then further developing the creative thinking inherent in every child. So every child has already this creative feeling, but for creative thinking, the ability to create, but if it's propelled by his exposure, like for example, in going to museums, going to theaters to watch on stage plays, going to musical to listen to music, going to the theater to watch ballet dances or any kinds of dance, then this would help the, the this art help the creative thinking skill of the child to develop more for his use and for the use of the community. So you can't separate your art and your creativity together because it helps even when you were a child, your creative thinking is already infected and impacted and affected by the, uh, by the art or any art piece, internal, external. Okay, how important is the role of creativity in art making? Of course, we have just mentioned that creativity is your internal skill that is being developed also and propelled or stimulated by the external factors that we experience from the environment and the role of creativity in art making. Okay, so you produce, when you try to experience, when you try to, to, to understand more of your creative expressions and you also try to consolidate the experiences you learn from your external environment, then this, this process will create or give you more ideas, more unique ideas. Uh, yes, it's uh, with complexities, it comes with intricacies, but it is more beautiful and it is more more uh, creative and unique okay so you 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 build a better better ideas better concepts and because of these ideas and concepts that that you create then you come up with a better concrete art output or art art output or art piece so what do we get when we are creative so when we are creative, being creative helps you become a better problem solver in all areas of your life and work. Creativity helps you see things differently with, um, and you can better deal with uncertainty. Remember in this world, there is no, uh, the, the remember in this world that change is constant. Nothing is cemented, nothing is, is, authentic nothing is cemented everything is temporary things change from one second to the next so we are dealing with uncertainty but when you are creative creative enough you can adapt from one from your life every second of the day because you can adapt from one situation to the next your creativity helps you with that. So, uh, because uh, your creativity helps you see things differently. Also studies show that creative people are better to live with uncertainty because they can adapt their thinking to allow the free flow of the unknown. So these creative people are more excited when they do not exactly know where they're going but they they have the feeling that they are safe and that creative and this safe the the feeling of 
uh, giving you that security is what uh, that's being shaped by your creative expressions. So you look at, into this art, there are a lot of colors there. There are a lot of figures there. Yes, we understand physically, but later on, uh, we will come to understand more of this art uh, looking to their elements and principles applied in them, the media applied to them, and the meaning of this art beyond physical. Okay, so basically I have here several lines which will be explained later on, or it could be your assignment, but I just want you to share that all of these lines are extension or at least uh, can you can figure out all the all these lines based on the um, lessons or lectures i have just discussed a while ago so you look at this one art is not what you see but what you make others see so basically it's one ultimate goal of an artist to make his art be conveyed on or understood by other people because art is not what you see, but what make others see, okay? So next line would be, no great work of art is ever finished. As I told a while ago, nothing is in this world is cemented. So things are progressing all the time, every second of the day. So no great work of art is ever finished. That means keep, keep on improving, go on, be creative you you heighten your awareness to make more ideas and put them into your art okay so if your art is evolving your art is developing from time to time the next one is creativity is the greatest rebellion in existence we have just discussed this one thinking out of the box so your creativity is really out of the box because it's uniquely you it is it may be connected it may be linked to other people's Perspective and ideas, it could be associated with other people's values and traditions, but there's some there's the magic that it's coming from your own heart, it's coming from your own thoughts. So basically, your creativity is the greatest rebellion in existence. And the last line would be being creative is not a hobby, it is a way of life. So I have thought we have just discussed about the high artistic high awareness artistically uh, speaking so your artistic uh, high awareness in your artistic uh, style would make you more creative in life and when you develop this from time to time then it, it will be injected in your system and it becomes part of your system already so your art is part of your system Art is the way, your way of doing the things that uh, you deal with life or you deal in life. Okay. And then the last one of the second lecture, because we have uh, discussed that we will be talking about awareness, creativity, and communication. But though we discussed already that art is communication from the very beginning, this will, this will at least uh, elaborate a little, little thing about art and communication linked together or the association of arts and communication. So basically, all artists make their art because way they wanted to convey, they wanted to extend, and they wanted to expand themselves. So they have a message within their art. They have a message contained in their arts. So this is why art is a form of communication. Art is not only manifested in your paintings, remember, but art can also be put into set, parallel to set when it comes to mathematical terms, okay? So it could be in your different operations, set of operations, there's art in there. You don't forget that your art is not on, you have to think out of the box and your art is not focused on art alone, but it's your way of doing things and mathematical or logical or analytical things are part of daily living. So there's also art in there. 
and we communicate using all of these mathematical expressions too. We don't only use visual arts in our communication, but we have a, a lot of numerical expressions manifested in our communication. So that makes art uh, a global communication. So communication is an art, vice versa. Yes, communication is an art because it involves creativity. So see how everything is associated, awareness, creativity, and communication, that you can't get away from one another by not uh, discussing the other. When you talk about the high awareness, then you come up with creativity because your high awareness will be propelled by your creativity. And when you talk about creativity, there's communication coming at hand. Why? Because your creativity also propels your way of communication. The way your, your articulation is, is somehow your creative expressions. And when you are very articulate in communicating, then that's one way of manifesting your creativity. And it is in your art, so that's one way of communication. So, Communication is an art in that case. So what's the role of art in communication? Throughout history, people have used art to communicate. In the past, in the ancient times, you see a lot of symbols, a lot of drawings, a lot of sketches, animal symbols and hand prints on the walls of the caves. These are these are communications for ancient people. They use, they use art, these symbols to communicate and, or convey meanings to the people or other beings who would be visiting the, the, the cave in those times. And art communicates in different ways, including uh, symbols, the use of symbols, allegory in which a figure stands for an abstract idea. So it could be verbal, it could be non-verbal, it could be um, written, it could be visual. So your art, if it's, it's not limited to visual alone as, as how we think during the first periods of this, this program, but it, it is also verbal because it is composed of our literary pieces and our stories, the novels that we write. It is also nonverbal because it has something to do with the gestures, the facial expressions, the bodily expressions that one does when he communicates. And it's also written. As I said, it has something to do with our literary pieces and the things that we, that we write. Okay, so this and the second lecture on, on awareness, creativity, and communication in relation to art. Uh, I want to leave you this line and I want you to think about it, contemplate on it tonight or in the next days. And then we will discuss about this, this line in the next um, lesson. But you can also write something about this line and uh, I will give you the rubric later on as an assignment. So let me read this line, is being cre creative, being artistic. Okay, so we have discussed a lot about art's nature. We have discussed about the, the connection of creativity, communication and awareness to art. So I, I believe that you will be able to develop something, uh, some, some statements that are sound and plausible related to this line is being creative, being artistic. Okay, so thank you once again and have a nice day. God bless everyone. I love you all.